The Princeton football team is no stranger to the state quarterfinals as the Tigers made it to the quarterfinals two years ago, but they came up short in that game. But as Dustin Nolan tells us, the Tigers, they are expecting big things this playoff run. It would be hard to find a more explosive 3A team in the state of Illinois than the Princeton Tigers. The Tigers are sitting at 10 and 1 on the season and averaging over 42 points a game and are just two wins away from playing for a state title. You know, our kids have worked extremely hard. Um, you know, from the off season, from you know, once the uh, the spring season compl completed, and uh, you know, everything from the weight room, you know, the the, the team nights that we had throughout the summer, uh, to see their hard work and their commitment and their dedication kind of come to fruition like this, you know, it's definitely exciting not only for our kids and our program, but you know, the school and, and this community. Come this Saturday. The Tigers will be lining up across from another 10-1 team in the state quarterfinals, IC Catholic Prep, who has a good offense of their own, averaging over 36 points a game. You know, their offense is really explosive. It's just going to be a game where it's going to be, hopefully we stop them. If we stop them, get the ball back and capitalize on that. And uh, I think comes down to the end of the game, it'll be whoever wants it more in the fourth quarter. And then on offense, the Tigers will be counting on junior quarterback Tegan Davis to help them find the end zone. I gotta keep us, the momentum going, we gotta stay quick. I can't make any mistakes myself this week. Gotta put the ball in the right place this week and run if I got to. And even though Princeton and IC Catholic Prep have the same record, the Tigers come in as an underdog to this game and they're using that as motivation to get the win. But we don't mind being the underdogs. We like to prove people wrong and we like to come in aggressive and stuff. They're gonna, it's make, it makes us angry and stuff. We like to come in aggressive because of that. We, we talked about it with our kids on Monday. You know, there's uh, not a whole lot of people out there that, that give our kids a chance. You know, and I think our kids have kind of relished in that role. Uh, we're kind of flying under the radar. Nobody's really talking about us. And, you know, we just go about our business each and every day. And, and uh, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, just add a little motivation. There is certainly a lot on the line this weekend between two very good teams. Kickoff is set for 3 p.m. in Elmhurst. Reporting from Princeton, I'm Dustin Nolan, Local 4 Sports.